Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tag video for you guys. So the tag that I will be doing today is Kira Emily's um, My Ideal Palette Tag. So I know that a few people this, that, did that tag as well on YouTube. So I'm going to link the original uh, video in the description bar down below if you want to check it out. And I'm going to do my version of the tag. So basically you have five different categories and each, each of these categories you can pick up two eyeshadow colors that would make the perfect palette that you would like um, to have. Um, the way that, that that I did mine was pretty much like following these categories, like uh, I picked the colors that I would typically take for traveling basically and put uh, in my palette. So since most of my um, colors are already depotted, like that was kind of easy to pull off a palette for that. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, the different colors that I have. Also, I know that the lighting in um, my house is sometimes kind of weird, so I'm going to do like swatches on my finger and I'm going to do them also on the inside of my arm, but as you can tell, the light is hitting like almost like whitely on my skin. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add like a uh, picture clips of the different colors as well in the video so that he can see with a better lighting than this because weirdly there's no way to get a decent light in my house ever to do swatches so that's how I'm gonna work for this one. So I'm going to start off with the first category which is the highlight. So you have to pick two highlight colors. The two highlights that I picked, the first one is Stila's Kitten. So if I do halfway light, I think we can pull off the gives me a weird color, but at least the colors are going to be truer. So it's a very like sparkly, shiny um, highlight. And this is what it looks like if I swatch it on my finger. It's a champagne, well, it's not, it's a little bit warmer than a typical champagne. It has a bit of like gold, rose gold to it as well. I'm going to swatch it on my arm for you. This is what it looks like swatch on my arm. So it's a very intensely, almost metallic key highlight. And this one I would like to have in a palette because you can always like blend it out very um, sheerly onto the top of your cheekbones. And that also gives you a nice highlight for your face. So that's the first one that I would pick. Okay, then the second one that I would pick is a lot um, more subtle of a highlight. It is a light creamy highlight. It is... That's what the color looks like. It's like a white, pinkish, white, neutral highlight. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. And that is what it looks like swatch on my finger. This one is from the Naked 3 palette and it's the color Strange. So I'm going to swatch it next to Stella Kittens. And you can see this one is a lot more on the white, uh, less shimmery side. So that's the second highlight that I have for that. Then you have uh, two crease colors, so colors to like put in your crease. Uh, the two colors that I picked, the first one is a typical crease color. So it's this, um, it's from the Naked One palette and it's the color Buck. So it's just a typical brown crease color. I'm going to swatch it on my finger. This is what this color looks like. It's like two, maybe three shades uh, deeper than my skin tone. So it gives a nice, uh, crease color and it's completely matte which is also great for a crease and this is what this color looks like so it's like a deep brown color then well not so deep it's a brown color uh, the second one that I would pick is from the Anastasia Miami palette and it's the color caramel so it's this one right here it is a um, it's pretty much on the same level of intensity as Buck, but this one is a lot warmer than Buck. If I can show them like side to side, this one is Buck, so it almost like looks gray with my lighting, and this one looks a lot warmer. So this is the color that I would pick. I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys. This is what this swatch for that one looks like. I'm gonna put it next to Buck. And as you can tell, this one is a lot more red tone compared to this. They do look nice together though, because like 
you could use both of these on the same eye look but this one I like because you can um, really get more of the warm side of the colors and if you put that one with a uh, Stila's kitten like the uh, warmer of uh, tone of the kitten really pops out with a um, warmer color in the crease so these were would be my two crease color depending on what eye look I'm going for Then all over the lid I have the first one is um, the one that I really would pick is from the brand used wet which I know is not as widely available in the US so I'm going to show you the exact color and then I'm going to show you a close enough color that you can relate to. So this is from the uh, copper quad and it's very a very metallic key copper color although when it's blended on your skin it doesn't look as metallic as it is in the pan. So I'm going to give you a swatch on that one. That's what it looks like. And it is comparable in color to the color from Urban Decay from the Naked 1 and 2 palette that is half-baked. So if I put them side to side, this one is warmer than half-baked, but they're like the same type of finish, a same type of like metallic -y finish. And these are the two colors swatched uh, side by side. So this one is more on the gold side and this one is a little bit warmer. I prefer the warmer one. So I'm going to swatch the warmer one on my arm. This is what it looks like. Okay, the uh, Buck uh, is a little bit more pigmented than that one though. Uh, so Buck has a better quality, but uh, I prefer the color from the Lisboty one. Then I have uh, the other uh, lid shade that I would pick would be more on a pink undertone and that would be this one. It's from Clinique from their pink chocolate quad. It's this color right here in the pan. That's what it looks like. It's a pink with some uh, purple, light purple to it. That's what this one looks like. And on my arm that's what this one looks like. So it almost looks purple on my swatch, but it's more on the pink side. If you want to compare it to uh, colors that are more known, I'm just going to take my Naked 3 palette and it would be somewhere like in between two shades from the Naked 3. It would be between um, somewhere between Dust and Buzz. So I can just put it right here. Okay, this is the color Dust and this is the color buzz right here and this color would be like in between it would be like in this lighting it looks very close to um the color burnout but it is very much um it's more shimmery and deeper than burnout is so that's what this color looks like next to the naked three palette um so this one I prefer because it's somewhere in between and it is creamy like I really really like the color of dust but I don't like the texture of it um, so this one has a better texture for that so that's why it's the one that I'm picking so that's the color for that one And then moving on, the next category is the Outer V colors. So for Outer V, I would take a typical matte black because you can get away with doing pretty much everything. You can smoke out your Outer V and you can also do like your liner with it. So I think it's very convenient to have in a palette. This one is from Lee Sweaty from the, the Carbon one. Um, but any black would do like any MAC or Urban Decay or whatever brand you want to go for. Makeup Geek has a nice matte black and this one I would recommend having a black in a palette. Well, not I would recommend, I would like to have a black. So that's the swatch for a black. And that's nice because you can always like deepen your looks with it and it's so multi-purpose that I would like one in my palette. And then the other color that I would like is a deep plum purple color uh like a deep mauve i'm gonna show you two colors because i don't think i'm gonna have a decent swatch with the one that i have um but it would be like something like that very just a generic like 
plum purple color and this one is from these Wetsy. it doesn't have shimmer in it which is the quality that i would like to have in my purple and as you can tell i've hit major bound on that one that's the reason that i won't get a nice swatch from it i can pick it up with my um maybe if i go with my pinky in it it would be better okay nuts uh, with the brush, I can really like target the color and get something nice, but with my fingers, it's terrible. Um, so that's what I would want, but uh, the color that I'm going to swatch for it is this one. It's uh, Sensuous from Makeup Geek, and they're very similar in color. This one is a little bit deeper, and this one um, has shimmer to it, which this one doesn't. So I would like to have one that doesn't have shimmer, but the swatch will be with shimmer because I can get a decent swatch out of that one. So this is what this color looks like and this is nice because you can pair it with pinks, it goes beautifully and you can like it gives just a little bit something different to your outer view. So that's what this swatch looks like. And it is beautiful with um, this shade, the more like pinky purpley shade. This is just gorgeous paired together. Um, then the um, last category that you have that we have is the two bonus shades. Uh, for my bonus shades, I have two options. I like one that is like a strict one, and the other one I have two options for. The uh, first one that I have a more strict uh, formula for would be um, a color that you could do your brows with. So um, I don't have an exact color for that because I'm mixing in two colors, but technically if I could have like something in between. So my brows are very dark as you can tell, so just putting that one is a little bit light. Usually I mix this one with a little bit of that one. So I don't have a deep enough uh, brown to put in my, um, to fill in my brows when I do so, but it would be something a little bit deeper than that one. So that one is from the Les Wetsier, uh Bra Eyebrow Essentials in the color for the brunettes. So I would pick that type of a color, but a little bit darker. So that what it's, this one looks like, but it would be like a little, little bit darker so that I can pull it off. Because if I put that one in my brows, it's kind of, well, on this lighting, it doesn't look too bad. But when I do it in real life, it really shows that it's like a filler, so it's not all that awesome. So I'm just going to take my swatch with the other end because I won't be able to transfer that color. So that would be that color. And also, this type of color could also complement a lot of the other colors that are already on my uh, palette choice. And the final uh, option of colors that I would like, I have two different uh, colors. It would be either like a very, very deep green or a very, very deep blue because both of these type of colors are great for just doing a slightly smoky eye or doing a pop of color on the lower, la uh, the, uh, lower lash line or in the outer V. And these are the two colors that really complement like my eyes. Well, either purple or blues and greens are good colors for me. So either of these, I wouldn't want two pops of colors, just one would be enough. But either of those would be good. And the two that I'm going to show are uh, Damage from Urban Decay, the um, Vice 2 palette. So this one is like green, a deep emerald green. And then the other one is Madness. And it's like it's equivalent in a blue, like a deep, strong blue. So either of those colors would work for me. I'm going to swatch both of these on my finger. So that's what this one looks like. And on my arm, that's what this one looks like. And then the blue one looks like this. So that's what the blue looks like and the green. So that would make like my ideal palette for traveling for every day. I could pull off pretty much any type of look with it. It has enough like neutral colors and a bit of color so I could really do mix and match. Um, so that would be my ideal palette and that's pretty much the type of palette that I recreate when I'm going on a trip. I'm going to show you the colors like I there are two colors that are not depotted so I couldn't put it in there. But that's what this palette would look like if I actually did it. So you have like your um, 
like colors and you're depending on like on the different categories and this is like the bonus shades and there are two missing colors that were in the palettes uh, so that's what oops sorry for the binding that's what the, pa the palette will look like Um, as far as packaging go, because we also get to choose our packaging, um, something that's not bigger than this, I like, this is my um, uni palette that I use for traveling, so that's the actual real palette that I use for traveling, and I think that something like that would be decent. This one has like a little something that flips over so it's very secured. It could also be um, the same type of fitting as the naked one, and uh, not the naked one, the naked two and three, because they really are like completely st uh, solidly shut down, so they're good for traveling. Um, or they could have like a flip over, whichever. The only difference that I would do between like that the and also it has a white mirror, so that packaging is awesome for that. Um, if it's like a, pa a palette that I travel with, I don't mind not seeing over it. I prefer to have a mirror because it's more convenient because de depending on your hotel rooms and stuff, sometimes mirrors are harder to get. And also um, the other feature that, that I would like my palette to have is not have all the same size for all the colors. So as you can tell, this one has different sizes. Um, that's something that I would like in my ideal palette as well. Like Too Faced, I think it's Too Faced that does that. Like they have like their um, they have big ones and they have smaller ones. Uh, so like for example, the pops of colors they could be small. I don't need those two to be extremely big. The black is something that I use for a lot of different things. I would like it a little bit bigger. Um, the highlight shades and the all over the lids could be a little bit bigger. So there are different uh, shades that I would pick bigger and some of them uh, to be smaller because sometimes you like you finish one um, eyeshadow in your palette and the other ones are pretty much full because you use them less so I would like the colors that you use on a less frequent um, to be less frequently to be smaller and the colors that you use more of to be like bigger so this way you um, use it all together at the same time if that makes any sense so that's what the ideal packaging for it would be um, this one is just a straight pink uh, it could be something a little bit cuter but anyways this is just more for the um, type of packaging and I would like something sturdy like also the Naked 2 and 3 did that uh, pretty well but since mine already bought it uh, I don't have them anymore so that's what I will look forward for my ideal palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I'm also going to leave in a better lighting all the swatches in as a picture at the very end. So um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.